Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Guided Angel CC. I want to do a short little intro to the reading before I start. I've been getting a lot of comments, a lot of emails, and a lot of questions from friends and family about how this all works. So if you are familiar with my channel or with tarot card readings, Go ahead and skip forward to the reading. This is probably going to take, you know, a few minutes, three or four minutes. I just want to talk about a few things. I first want to say that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with everyone. Us tarot card readers here on YouTube or on the internet who are doing readings for zodiac signs are doing readings for millions of people. Our videos are being watched all over the world. So it is really impossible for us to connect with everyone in every situation. But if this reading is not resonating with you for some reason, did you know that you have three signs? three main signs anyway. You have a lot of signs in your astrology chart, but three that are kind of important and they're called sun sign, a moon sign, and a rising ascendant sign. I did put a link below in the description box to a website that will give you that information. It's totally free. You just have to put in your name, the city you were born in, and the time you were born, hopefully you know that information, but if you don't, you know, they say just put in 12 p.m. and that will give you the best possible scenario. So go to the website, see what your other signs are, and maybe you'll resonate with one of them. I myself uh, was shocked. I am a Virgo sun, a Taurus rising, and a Gemini moon. So for the heck of it, one day I just went and I watched some other readings under Taurus and Gemini because I always thought that I was a Virgo all my life. I, you know, always read Virgo horoscopes and Virgo tarot card readings. Well, I could not believe it that I am a Gemini. I'm a Gemini all day. Uh, I was completely shocked. So you might be surprised. Go find out what your three signs are. Go to my channel you can click on guided angel below this video my name it'll take you to my channel there you can click on videos and it'll show you all the videos for all the signs and watch the other two watch your rising sign and watch your moon sign because you just might be surprised how it might resonate with your energy also you can watch the other signs for the people that you are in a situation with if you're having a problem with a certain sign in your life, an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius, a Capricorn, whatever it is, you can go there and you can watch that sign and it might give you a lot more clarity and a lot more insight as to what is going on in the situation. You might even be in their reading. All the cards that I use in my readings are all also in the description box below with a link. If you're interested in any of the decks or you like the cards, you can purchase them there. There's also information in the description box on how to get a personal reading. You can either email me and I will send you back the information that you need to get a personal video reading or you can visit my Etsy account. Once, once again, that information is in the description box below. Don't forget to like this video, share this video with your friends and family if they come up in your reading. Leave me a comment. Also subscribe to my channel. We need subscribers to keep these videos coming. There's a little red subscribe button at the lower right hand corner of all the videos. You can click on that to subscribe or you can go underneath the video. There's also the word subscribe. You can click on that. You do need a Gmail account in order to be a member of YouTube and subscribe to a channel, but it's really easy to create. You know, it's just basically your name, your screen name that you pick or your email that address that you pick, and then you just create the account and then you can subscribe to all, a bunch of other YouTube channels. The last thing that I wanna say is that you should never give up your hopes, dreams, decisions, 
anything that's going on in your life to a tarot card reading. Once again, these readings are for entertainment purposes only. We're doing it for fun. We hope that it will give you some insight and some clarity into the situation, but don't ever make a decision based on something that a tarot reader says oh, well, they're going to fire me anyway, or they're going to break up with me anyway because the tarot card person said so. That's not true. Everything is changeable. Even if the reading is uh, resonating with your energy at this moment, it can change in the blink of an eye because of a decision that you make tomorrow to go down a different path. It is very important that you make decisions about your life. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, let's get on with your reading. Thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. And here we go. Hello there, Pisces. Welcome to your March 2019 Tarot Scope. Angels, divine spirits, and guides, I invite you now to come in and help me to deliver messages to the zodiac sign of Pisces for the month of March 2019. What is it that Pisces needs to know? My last reading, Pisces, you are the last sign in the zodiac. And I'm just happy that I get to take a break for a little while. What is it that you can tell us? All right. They're not going together anymore, Pisces. Here we go. One, two, three. Center of your reading. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. It's not the right time for something. Challenge position, the Knight of Cups, an offer of love. It's not the right time for an offer of love. The star card in reverse at the base of your reading. Your wishes are not coming true. Oh my goodness. The Seven of Swords is a past energy in the reverse. I'm happy that's in the reverse. Crowning your reading, near future, your roller attitude, the roller attitude of others, your hopes and fears, and the final outcome. Overall energy, bottom of the deck, Knight of Swords. Quick moving offer. So first of all, Pisces, let me say happy birthday. It's Pisces season. I am doing these readings a little late. It's March 2nd. Um, so if your birthday has passed, I'm sorry. Happy birthday. Happy past birthday. And if your birthday is coming up, I hope you enjoy it. All right. So in the center of your reading, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. My goodness, the wheel is not spinning in your favor. It's not the right time for something. Maybe you just had a stroke of bad luck. Maybe someone just learned a lesson here from a mistake that they made. In your challenge position, we have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is probably your energy, but why are you in your challenge position? The Knight of Cups comes in and offers his cup of love. He's known as the dreamer. So I feel with this star card here, somebody's dreams, somebody's dreams are not happening. It could signify an apology. So maybe the apology isn't coming to you for whatever this person did here in the past. We're going to get to that in a minute. At the base of your reading, we have the star card in reverse, sign of Aquarius. So this is also about, you know, someone's wishes not being fulfilled, someone's dreams not coming true. It can signify exhaustion, like a burnout or something. Maybe somebody's just tired, but you're losing hope, losing faith. You're doubting a situation. Maybe you're losing faith that this person is not going to apologize. The Knight of Cups is all about like calmness and peace. And maybe you're just not feeling that right now. 
In your recent past, we had the Seven of Swords in reverse, more Aquarius energy. So when the Seven of Swords is in the upright position, it talks about, you know, somebody trying to get away with something, somebody trying to be sneaky, somebody trying to be deceptive, betray you. But in the reverse, it talks about this person getting caught or feeling guilty. That's why I was leaning towards this apology. I think that somebody does feel guilty here for whatever it is that they did, but the apology just isn't coming. Maybe it's just not the right time for the apology to come or the cup of love to come. We'll see what the rest of the cards have to say. Crowning your reading. Oh my goodness, the five of swords. There's more Aquarius energy. We definitely got an Aquarius on board here. The Knight of Swords is also Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. So you could definitely be dealing with an Aquarius person here. But the Five of Swords is all about, you know, it's a fight. It's um, drama. It's somebody who's going to win no matter what, no matter what they have to do. They're going to win this fight. They don't care who they hurt or who they step on in the process. And this Knight of Swords is going right towards that fight. That's a challenge, a quick challenge. You're going to have to think fast here, Pisces, about something. You got some kind of battle or something going on. I think it's already going on because we didn't get into your future yet. The Knight of Swords is your future. Um, that's what the, you know, the overall energy of the whole thing. But these people were on a boat and they like discovered this island. And this guy, he's like, this is my island. I don't care if you came here with me or what. I step, I put my foot on here first and this is my island and I will kill you if I have to. I'm not saying that somebody's going to do that. I'm just telling you the energy of the card, how extreme it is that someone is willing to do anything that they can to, you know, make this happen for them. And he wins. He wins the fight. He's standing there and he's like, victory. Victory. And everybody has left him, and there he stands all alone. Hmm. In your near future, we have the Two of Wands. So you're at a crossroads. There's a decision that you need to make here. That's Aries energy. So in your near future, you're going to be sitting back and trying to figure out what you're going to do about this situation. You're going to be starting to make a plan about your future and which road you're going to go down. So maybe this offer is going to come in very quickly and you're going to have to decide, you know, if it was somebody that betrayed you, am I going to forgive this person or not? But you're going to have to think very fast. The Knight of Swords signifies face-to-face -face communication. Okay, in your roller attitude, we have, oh my goodness, Pisces. This is your birthday month. What's going on here? You got a lot of swords. Woo! A lot of communication. The Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. You are worried. You are having anxiety. This is in your roller attitude. You are losing sleep over the problem. You're worried. It's totally stressed out. You're stressed out about... Maybe your dream's not coming true. Maybe you're running into obstacles and roadblocks. People challenging you. In the roller attitude of others, oh, we have the sun card in reverse. Leo energy. I just don't feel like this is a good month, Pisces. I'm sorry. I just read them as they come out. So the sun is all about unhappiness disappointment it can also signify a burnout you got two cards here i feel like somebody's completely exhausted from thinking about this you're probably exhausted because you're not getting much sleep that's in the roller attitude of others so is somebody disappointed in you this could all be vice versa so i feel like somebody did do something here and they either feel guilty about it or they got caught doing it and the other person is disappointed in catching them. I would say that somebody was cheating here, but I don't even see this being a love relationship. It very well could be. 
if there's just a person that you need to forgive or needs to forgive you just feel like there's a lot of um, two people aren't getting along here or, or somebody's life is just confusing right now very confusing in your hopes or fears we have the knight of Pentacles in reverse Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy so you know I know I say it all the time but the knight of Pentacles when he's in the upright position he's very slow moving he's firmly making a plan I call it the vacation card so let's say you are going on vacation you need to book your hotel you need to book your airline you need to find out where you're going to eat dinner and what kind of activities you're going to do and all that takes a lot of time however when the knight of pentacles is in reverse it's not even moving at all it's delays you're fearing that there's not going to be any offer here you're fearing that maybe this offer of love isn't coming in. I don't know what it is that you have to think fast about. Maybe you're the one that's being hesitant and you need to make this decision quicker. Whatever your decision is. It's just total stagnant energy. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you for the final outcome. Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, beautiful card, brand new beginning, happiness, love, emotional fulfillment, love it. Out of 11 cards here, it's about time that we got a good one, don't you think? <laughs> so maybe this decision or something that's going to come in very quick that you're going to need to make, whatever it is, you're going to make the right one. Maybe this is all about a relationship that is ending and you're making a decision to either stay or go and you're going to leave and move into something much more beautiful if that is your decision. And it could very well be a job. I mean, what if, you know, you applied for a position here? That's your challenge position is the offer. So let's say you applied for this position for a promotion or something like that. And somebody came and took it from you. And, you know, they feel, I shouldn't say they feel, you feel betrayed. Maybe you're just going to leave. Maybe now you have a decision to make. Okay, let's see what the fairies have to say. Wow, that was a little, um, that was a heavy reading. I'm so happy for that Ace of Cups at the end of March for you. So whatever this decision is that you need to make, it looks like it's going to lead you to a brand new beginning in some happiness here. Marriage, the fairies join you in celebrating wedded bliss. Hmm, is this somebody's marriage? Is it Or it's very well possible that this new beginning that you're going to have with this person that you're probably going to meet at the end of March, maybe this could lead to marriage if you're a single person. Maybe you're going to meet somebody at a wedding. You have any weddings to go to, Pisces? Fairies, do you have any other messages for the zodiac sign of Pisces for the month of March 2019? What is it that Pisces needs to know? All right. Easy does it. Stop, stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open for you. And that's what the Nine of Swords is all about. You know, stop worrying about it. Stop trying to make what you want happen. Don't force this wheel of fortune. If the wheel of fortune isn't spinning for you and things aren't happening for you, you're not on the right path. I tell everybody all the time, you have to just let life happen. Don't force issues because it only causes that. It only causes stress, anxiety. So chill out. If this is you, you know, don't try to win no matter what. I feel like somebody maybe lost a good friend here because, you know, they had their, this is what I want and I don't care who I hurt. And then maybe this is the person that got hurt. Maybe it's you, Pisces. Let's see what the romance angels have to say. 
we will do an angel answers segment at the end of this reading where you will have the opportunity to ask a question even if you are a cross watcher that means a person who is watching another sign to see what they're up to um, you can ask a question too it, it doesn't you know it doesn't matter um, it doesn't have to be about the reading it doesn't have to be a Pisces person anybody can ask a question getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens you're going to meet somebody new how about that as soon as you get out of this situation let's see what else they got hold on here even if it is a new job you know getting to know each other is is very well um you know can very well mean that you're learning a new job this is a new beginning a new beginning in something codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life hmm that could very well be what this fight is about if someone's you know drinking and doing drugs they're not in their right mind and stressing you out maybe they even drink or do drugs or whatever it is that they do and they're cheating I don't know that they're cheating I you know that was in the past so even if they did cheat you already know it's not like it's something that's coming up I don't know I, you're only only you're gonna know how that card is going to resonate with your situation um, addictions can be anything it can be video games <laughs> I just saw this fight up here made me think maybe somebody's um, you know addicted to video games addicted to those fight games where people are fighting and stuff like that and maybe they're just ignoring you it can be gambling it can be overeating it can be drinking it can be drugs an addiction you know can be anything that is causing a person to be focused on something that they're not supposed to be focused on all right let's clarify the ace of cups here with a couple of essentials cards and see um, where this is going to go this new beginning this happiness this cup of love it's finally going to come oh that was way too many cards here that was a whole nother reading all right angels divine spirits and guides can we have an additional card for the sign of pisces for the end of march 2019 what is it that pisces needs to know about this ace of cups here this new beginning Ha, look at that how crazy is that ace of cups twice wow can't get any better than that emotional emotions will be overflowing if you are going to meet someone at the end of March it's gonna happen very quickly and you're really going to like this person a lot the four of wands marriage holy shoot more aries energy cancer pisces scorpio if i didn't say that that's aries the four of wands is is beautiful it's two people coming together happiness it also represents a wedding so if anybody's going to a wedding here you just very well could meet somebody at the wedding there's a possibility also that someone has an addiction problem and they're ignoring their relationship let's just say and you're going to give them a decision to either pay attention to me and stop playing those video games and let's move this relationship forward or I'm leaving you and that person's gonna boom turn things around and maybe it will if you're not married maybe they'll propose I'm almost afraid to pull any more cards I want one more but that ending is just so beautiful that I just kind of want to leave it there hmm can we have one more card for the four of wands and the ace of cups twice for the sign of Pisces for the month of March 2019 what else does Pisces need to know about this situation <laughs> look at that they don't want to give me anymore 
All right, you know what? Maybe we're just going to leave it there. I kind of like it. All right, let's take this one. The Wheel of Fortune. Holy crimpets. <laughs> Sorry for my expressions, but that right there is probably the four best cards that anybody could have. The wheel is spinning in your favor. Fate, destiny, karma, meeting this possible new person or turning this relationship around and getting married in the happy home. Wow. If this person is does have an addiction problem and it's the relationship that's going to be turning around, they're going to cut it out. Or you are going to make the decision to leave them and you are walking into complete happiness. Wow. All right, let's do an angel answers here. You can ask a question. I'll lay three cards face down on the table. You can start focusing on your question now, but I don't want you to pick your number until all three cards are face down on the table because I want you to feel the energy of the card. While I have your attention, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel. I need subscribers so I can keep doing these videos for you. Share them with your friends and family members and watch the other readings, the other signs to you might even be in their reading. It will give you more clarity on the situation. All right, there's one. Two. All right, that one kind of landed face up too, but I think I got it quick enough. <laughs> anyway, all right, you probably already have your question. Now you can pick one, two, or three. It's very important that you go with your first instinct and don't change your mind. You always want to follow your intuition. Your first instinct is always the right one. Even if it is a message that you do not want to hear, it is for your highest good. Okay, here is answer number one. Big happy changes. Holy moly. Number two, let go. Hmm, maybe somebody does need to let go here. Maybe somebody even needs to just let go of the addiction. And number three, helpful people. Someone's going to help you. All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave that there. I'm sorry about all this garbage that you're going through here, but maybe once you start, you know, stop trying to control everything, and get over these sleepless nights and just let life happen. Look what's coming for you. Oh my goodness. Absolutely beautiful. Have a great month. Comment below and let me know.